How are you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Uh, today, I want to ask the question, how do you physically feel after you stop drinking alcohol? Um, a lot of it's going to depend on so many different things. I mean, I can only speak about how I felt and the things that I went through after I stopped drinking, right? Uh, you know, I can't tell you about other people. Um, but it does depend on so many different factors, your age, your uh, alcohol consumption before you stopped, how long you were drinking, what types of alcohol you were drinking, all those kind of things are going to have an effect. Um, from, I think for the majority of people, you're going to feel a relief, you're going to feel there's an accumulation of alcohol, you know, when you're drinking alcohol, there's an accumulation of micro damage, which you know, over many years adds up to um, a lot more damage, right? It adds up to a whole, um, you know, this is where liver damage comes from, kidney damage, heart damage, brain damage. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens, you know, with um, micro damage that's happening every time you, you have a drink, right? So, when you stop drinking, you stop the flow and that's the, the the biggest thing is that the flow has been stopped uh, and no dam no, no more damage is going to be caused unless you're you know at least not by the alcohol right so I mean you can cause damage by other things like for instance you can cause further liver damage to, depending on what you're uh, eating or drinking you know the other things that you're eating or drinking so when I stopped drinking first I had um, I felt an instant relief. It was, uh, I didn't have a hangover going into it. I drank a half a glass of wine um, on the day that I stopped. Um, so the next morning, woke up and there was, I had no hangover, you know. So I didn't even have that. I felt a relief uh, that I was quitting. You know, there was a scariness, you know, there's, there's the unknown and, you know, once you're delving into the unknown once you're changing any habit like this there's going to be a certain amount of discomfort and most of it is mental you know most of the discomfort is is always going to be mental because the habit resides up here in your head it doesn't reside in your body so that's what you have to overcome you have to overcome the mentality of it now there's a few people a very small minority of people who have drank so much that the alcohol has just stopping drinking alcohol causes them a lot of problems um, and they're the ones that shouldn't be quitting drinking alcohol on their own they need to get some medical attention but it's because they've got medical conditions caused by so much alcohol that they have consumed but as I said the majority of people don't need that you know you what you're what you need is is not medical attention but psychological help and um, to overcome the habit and once you if you think about this from the perspective of when you're drinking, every time you get a hangover, your body knows that that is alcohol poisoning, right? Um, every time you um, get a pain in your side or you feel you just feel crap because of the hangover, just because of the well, because of the drinking itself, your body is going to feel shit. Uh, your your mind knows this and. A lot of this stuff is pushed down below, below the surface, but it causes a chronic anxiety because you know what you're doing is not healthy for you. You know what you're doing is, is not right. Um, you know, it's the same thing with cigarettes when people try to stop smoking cigarettes. They know that the cigarettes uh, smoking is no good for them. They know that it's, it can cause a whole host of different uh, conditions and ailments, uh, some of them life-threatening. So, it's the same thing with when you're drinking alcohol, you know, you know that this is, you know that this can't be right, regardless of, of, of how you have uh, looked at things, you know that at the end of the day, um, what you're doing is, is not helping your body, that what you're doing is damaging your body, it's damaging your life, you can see it unfolding, but a lot of this stuff, you, um, as I say, push down below the surface, whether consciously or subconsciously. So when you stop drinking, there is an instantaneous relief 
that, that the damage is no longer. There's a fear as well attached to it because you're, uh, as I say, you're, you're heading into the unknown, so you don't really know about these things. You don't know what's going to happen. So, um, but I would say physically how it feels to quit drinking alcohol that is the biggest thing is the relief the relief that you know that you're no longer causing uh, the damage the relief that you, you know that there's not going to be any more hangovers you know so um, there's so many good things to not put in this toxin inside your body it's unreal now if you want help with that um, I've got a something that I want to give you for free that I think you're going to love it's my new book 10 steps to stop drinking alcohol for good as I said before if you download this book if you read it and apply the principles that's the the main thing applying the principles uh, I'm confident that you'll enjoy so many benefits you know that just that relief of, of, of just not having those hangovers anymore you know you'll have more money in your bank you'll have better relationships better health um, you know your health will just skyrocket you know and depending on what you're doing afterwards but as I say those basic principles are there to guide you to help you to get away from the alcohol the rest of it is is really up to you so click on the link down below this video to get started and um, just click on the link and it'll take you to the website alcoholmastery.com once you're there click on the button enter your best email address and I'll send you out uh, a copy straight away as I said don't wait for this it's um, a lot of good help in there, so uh, do it now while you're waiting. My name's Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Take good care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Take care. Bye now.